Hi, I'm Barbara Smith. I'm an occupational therapist and author of the book, The Recycling OT, and the website, RecyclingOT.com. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to adapt a ring stack to bring in a sensory component and to make it more challenging and a little more fun. Young children are very familiar with ring stacks because um, parents and toy makers um, use them a lot to develop eye-hand coordination. This ring stack is made from a candy cane that I rescued from the trash. It was used, uh, it was filled with horse feed. This opens up and the bottom opens up also. So I rescued it thinking this would be really a really nice ring stack because it's a little bit more challenging. The rings would go on like this. So it's great to take a very familiar activity and, and then adapt it in a small way to make it more interesting. Uh, this type of ring stack is also great because you, it, it, it promotes using both hands, bilateral hand skills, because you can't really, you need to use both hands in, in order to use it, or else it just falls over. I also wanted to add a sensory component to make it more fun for the child, so I took this massager, which looks like an alien spaceship, and it um, has a button that turns it on and it vibrates, and I put the tube inside of it. First, I tried attaching it with Velcro and it wasn't secure enough. So I took some yarn. First, I punched holes in this plastic using a heavy-duty hole puncher. Punched the holes, attached some yarn, laced the yarn through the plastic holes, and then around these little legs. So it's quite secure. It stays in place. Then I could turn, push the button on the bottom, and it vibrates, and I could feel it. I, the child can use it like this holding it that way, or hold it from the bottom, or stabilize it on the table, but it does require using both hands, and it's used in this way. The plastic that I use is cut out of laundry bottles using these leather shears, and if you've seen my other videos, you know that it's very easy to cut plastic out of a laundry bottle, but I will just quickly demonstrate just how easy it is, and what's nice about Putting the massager on the bottom is that it also, I'm going to fold it in half, do a snip like that, and cut out the this part. <clears throat> and what's nice about the massager, as it's hard to say, is it folds this in place. You don't want this to be too large. You want it to be small enough so it will stay in place, but large enough to be fairly easy to put on. So I hope you have a better idea now of how to take a simple activity such as a ring stack, adapt it, and add a sensory component to it so that you can make learning fine motor skills fun for the children that you work with. Thank you. Over there. You going to stand up and do it? Okay. Show me. You stand up and put them on. Good. Wow. So this might keep you busy for a long time. Yeah. Wow. So if I could get one without your face in it. And then, oh, there we go. Nice job. Rings. Let's put them on. He's independent. Really, really good.